what the kind of rendering. Okay, we can come back on render current only one frame. If I come here, I have the rendering. I have the, and uh, in the rendering tab, I can choose, for example, my engine. Engine is ray tracing, is micro polygon rendering, is micro polygon physical basic rendering, etc. etc. This is the algorithm you can use it for rendering. And it's very complicated subject because there is a lot of kind of rendering. And for example, the ray tracing is based uh, from the rays you can have from your camera. Okay, we can come here and we can try to explain better. I have here the camera, okay? And uh, here from my camera, from my camera is uh, start the ray. And uh, this ray, when is uh, find one point, uh, is report one point is on your camera. But the camera, you can think it's like the plane, okay? Have here the camera, okay? Or your point of view. And uh, here I have my geometry in 3D space. And here I have my render. What is it the render? The render is the image and the image is one raster image is not the 3 d dimensional. We see in 3D, but it's not 3D. It's one image, it's raster. And here I have, for example, one point, one race. It's uh, start here, the race. And when you meet this plane, is create one point here. And this is create another point here. So I have this situation. This ray is uh, one way for create the retracing. The retracing is that is essential, but is also there is the formula that is more complicated. For example, if I have here one sphere, okay, it's behind our box. Here, I don't see the face over the or behind the box. I see in my representation, I see like this. I see my sphere, okay? You start to think your 3D space and your camera and in the middle you have the 2D plane. Your 2D plane, it's like the render, okay? When you shoot one picture, for example, with your camera, with your smartphone, with uh, all what you you want, you don't see in 3D space. You don't see, uh, the, for example, uh, what all things, all stuff you have in your pockets, okay? Because it's hide, it's hide from another element, okay? And the result is one is the raster, it's one linear 2D image. The rendering is the same. It's the same because we can convert our 3D space with the camera in one raster image. This is the basic concept. Also, we have possibility to create the 3D compositing, but this is the, another story and another rules in the computer graphic. And here I have also, if I come back on the, my output node here, I can also change my kind of our uh, algorithm for create the rendering. And every rendering have, for example, in some case, have the specific task, or you can use that for specific uh, task. You can use it, for example, for create the simulation of pyro effects, or for create, for example, the particulars, or for a uh, uh, rigid body, you can use another kind of your system, your algorithm. And, but we can start with the retracing. Here we can use the depth of field. Depth of field, it's like uh, 
the, the effects you have some uh, is uh, your element is in first plane or in second this is how is set in that here you can see more blur or not blur and here I have the motion blur motion blur is the effects you can use it for animation for create the a best animation from your elements. Every element every have uh, the little effects for mixed for mesh up very fast your system.